What's up? Beautiful day to get things done, be productive, go to the gym. Woke up this morning, energized, got a full night's rest of sleep, which is awesome. Woke up early, didn't even need to have my coffee this morning. So heading to the gym, got my pre-workout scream from the Platinum Series. And yeah, just a good day. I got work done, got an assignment finished for next week. I got up to date on all the comments, watched some YouTube videos. I even did laundry this morning. It's 12.30 right now. It's a low carb day, so I had breakfast and a little bit of peanut butter before I got in the car. Gonna head to the gym, gonna film um, it's chest and tries. I'm doing something a little bit differently. I'm gonna focus on no bench, no compound movements whatsoever. Just gonna do incline dumbbell press. Haven't done that in a while. I wanna go for like four sets around six to eight, so that'll be my heavy movement and then get into some accessory work and uh, record as much as I can. But yeah, it is just a good day. It's warm out, getting things done. Such a turnaround from yesterday, so let's get this day started also. Rocking the Ever Forward apparel shirt. It's so nice, so comfortable. And for any girls that are watching this and you're wondering what sizes to get, yes, he does offer women's shirts and everything. This is a guy's shirt. Again, I'm like 5'10 and a half, almost 5'11. And yeah, it fits pretty nicely. It's 95% cotton, 5% spandex, so really good. Love this color. And again, I'm a small if you're a girl and you're wondering what size to get. But without further ado, Let's get to the gym. I'm so ready. Walk like I built this tent. Steps so light, I barely touch the ground. Everybody wants to know how. Brick by brick, I put them in the ground. Walk, walk like I built, walk, walk, walk like I built this. I do it for my people, family business. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another successful workout, chest and tries very well. Before we get into the workout though, anyone who knows cameras or like memory cards, I'm having some issues with mine. I have two different memory cards. When I put it into my camera, it says I only have a few minutes to record. So that's why I only recorded one set of everything today. Like right now it says that I've got 13 minutes left to record even though there's nothing on it. When I put the memory cards into the computer, it comes up blank, you know, like there's nothing on there. Um, Cause I've deleted everything. And then when I put it into the camera and I go to review what's on the card, there's nothing, but yet the camera reads it like it's full. And it's doing that for both of them. So I'm probably going to take the camera to Best Buy where I bought it later today just to figure that out because if it says I don't have any space, even though I should on two different cards, kind of a problem. But anyway, if you know what that issue is, please comment down below. But let's get into the workout. I'm just going to go over... Everything really quick. Started out with the incline bench. Goal was to do four sets of six to eight. Warmed up with 20s and 30s, felt very good. So I ended up doing four sets with the 40s. Yeah, they were grinders towards the end. I got seven the first two sets and I got six reps the second two sets. But I was still happy that I got it. It's progressive overload. Normally, I, you know, I play around with 30s and 35s when I do the incline. So able to move up to 40s and you know when I come back then I can evaluate if I'm grinding out the last few reps or not and that means their progress so very happy with that then I moved into like the close chest dumbbell press so you bring the dumbbells into your chest and they're touching this really helps warm up your triceps as well because it's so close it's almost like a close grip bench press so it really warmed up my triceps I did three sets of 15 with that with 20s and then right after that I did single arm dumbbell raises so just bringing your arm kind of across your chest feel the squeeze in your chest and slowly bring it down I did three sets of that with 12 reps just using 10s but that was a super set so definitely felt it very happy with that and then I did the tricep cable push downs they're supposed to be the push downs with the straight bar but I was feeling some pain in my right elbow I literally did three reps and I was like nope can't do this so I changed it up to the rope that felt a lot better I did four sets of 15 and then I did single arm pec deck which I really like this because you get the isolation you know you're not swinging your arm across just slow and controlled you know you're in charge of the weight don't let the weight control you bring it across your chest and then slowly bring it back really work on that isolation did four sets of 12 with that and it felt very good. Then I moved into overhead rope extensions and this felt a lot better on my elbows as well. So I was happy with how that felt. 
did four sets of 12. You know, the last few were pretty rough and it kind of changed up how my elbows were pos positioned, whether they were tucked in more or out. Just kind of whatever's comfortable for you guys. As long as you're getting that tension in your tricep, then it's working. So again, four sets of 12. Everything was at least three or four sets and no less than 12 reps. The most I got into was um, 20 reps at the end, but you'll see that in a few seconds. Then I worked into the chest press machine. I really like this because I was working on exploding on when you're pushing movement and then just easing it back as slow as I could on the way down. Did four sets of 15 with that. Again, just really working on that mind muscle connection. That was my focus today and I think it went really well. So exploding out on the chest press, slowly bringing it back, feeling it stretch. That was very good. Recommend doing that. And then what I finished off with was single tricep extensions. My right arm, elbow, whatever is definitely bugging me. I wanted it to be like a burner finisher at the end. So I did three sets of 20 with just 10 pound dumbbells. You know, it wasn't swinging when I was, wasn't using my momentum to slow and control down and then extend out, lock out at the top, slowly bringing it down. You guys are seeing the second set of this. I kind of had to change it up towards like the, after rep 15 or so with my right arm just because I, I couldn't get anything to go. Just it was definitely pretty sore. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. My set, set three, I had to put down the dumbbell in my left hand and kind of use my left hand to assist the dumbbell up on the way out. But I did get all the reps, so happy with that. But you know, not going too crazy to where I'm going to get hurt or anything like that. So that was the workout. Definitely really good. I like doing chest and tries again to change it up. So happy about that. I'm going to go ahead to the grocery store, cut this part short because now I'm down to nine minutes left on my memory card. So the rest of the video will probably be on my phone, so I apologize for that gonna get that taken care of but hopefully you did enjoy the workout footage the commentary enjoying the video and this shirt is awesome so shout out to max tuning and ever forward apparel love it very comfortable again if you're a girl i'm wearing a small but anyway i will see you guys later please give it a like if you did enjoy this part of the video and i'll see you guys in a bit so the game plan for this grocery store haul is one not a haul just getting a few essential things because I'm here for a week, then I go home for the weekend, and then when I come back, I'm here for a week, and then that's it. Then I'm home for good. And I come I only come back for graduation. But I'm gonna go over my schedule with you guys in the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But you're gonna get a few things to hold me over for this week and then like the week that I come back. I can't believe it's that close to being done and graduation. It's flown by, but enough talking, let's get in the grocery store. heading to Best Buy now to hopefully get my camera checked out with the memory cards. I did try to get again just now to fix it. I took everything off from the workout and put on my computer and then it's still set. I only had 24 minutes left on the memory cards. It's definitely something with the computer but uh, I did change just not my shirt. Got different pants on and okay does anyone else wear these shoes? They're so comfortable. They're called Sanooks right there so comfortable great for a day like this but people in Jersey are like what are those and like their shoes they're comfortable kind of like Sperry's like your boat shoes just slip them on but in Maryland people wear them all the time but uh, comment down below if you've worn those before or whatever but gonna go to Best Buy now hopefully when the next time you see me I will have good news but we'll see we are good to go on the camera and the memory cards. So apparently, since I have a Mac, when I would delete all the files from, say, the day of recording, Mac doesn't actually delete them. 
They like to save it in a secret trash file. This is how they explain it to me. So Apple will put it in a secret trash folder, whatever you want to call it, and keeps it there. So that's why lately when I've been recording, I see the minutes on my memory card get less and less. So they said every once in a while, plug it into a PC and the PC will show that hidden trash file or show the storage is all filled up and you can delete it from there. So I had no idea. I really thought it was my camera since I had two memory cards, but that's what it's doing. So if you have a Mac and you have problems like that where you're deleting everything, but your Mac really isn't deleting it, which is kind of weird. But um, the lady was really nice. Apparently you have to get appointments with Geek Squad and I didn't know that, but I only had to wait a few minutes. My appointment was at 5.30 and it's 5.45, so nice and easy. Didn't have to get anything new, which was good. It was just Mac wasn't deleting files, even though I was deleting them. So we're all done. We're good to go for the camera for the rest of the video, so no worries. I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys did get something out of it. Workout was great. I'll definitely be sore, so that was good. But like, comment, share, subscribe if you did enjoy this. Hopefully you got something out of it, whether it's the size of a shirt, you know, different workouts, anything if you learned from about the computers. But I always hope that you guys get something out of the video, you know, something new, something you can take away. That's my goal. So if you comment down below something you could take away from this video, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to end this here, get a meal, two meals left. It's a low carb day, but I'm hanging in there. Should be a new low weigh in tomorrow. We'll see about that. But uh, thank you guys so much. And as always, have a great day.